Hi guys, welcome back to my pretend cooking show. My name is Dina Mitchell and you're in my kitchen. Prego, you said you wanted more sauce recipes. Well, I've got one of my favorites to share with you. It's mint chimichurri and it's absolutely amazing. How amazing? I wanna drink the sauce. And that's when you know it's really good. This recipe is my friend, executive chef, Grant McPherson. Grant has such a diverse background from Scotland, worked all over Asia, Australia, Las Vegas, and even opened the Bellagio. He's also a great friend and generous because he's allowing me to share this recipe with you today. So we are going to need fresh mint, parsley, olive oil, red wine vinegar, garlic, a little bit of sugar and salt and pepper. And it goes like this. You're gonna need 60 grams of uh, pre-washed and take off the stems of fresh mint. And we're gonna make this in our Vitamix blender. Alternatively, you can just chop this up really finely and mix it all together or use your food processor. All right, 60 grams of fresh parsley. And I'm using all organic ingredients because I love the fresh flavors. It reminds me of Vegetables that just came out of the garden. Okay, so we're gonna need 12 grams of garlic, which is about three garlics, and it depends on the size. So I've got three, this is a regular size. This is 12 grams. Okay, and I am going to, you can finally chop this, or I can just press this in. And the reason why I'm pressing this in is because I don't, whoops, I need a knife. I don't want this to process a lot. I don't want it to chop a lot. I really don't need it to. Oh. <laughs> or throw the whole thing in. Grant first introduced me to this recipe. He came to one of my watch parties and it was sort of potluck. And I have one request for my friends when it comes to potluck. And that is that you make the food yourself. Don't buy it and reheat it or cook it up. I want to try different recipes. I want to try your family's recipes. It's important to me that we, that's part of getting together and part of, part of sharing food, right? All right, let me get back to this. A quarter cup of red wine vinegar. And let's see, about a teaspoon of salt or to taste. I'm gonna do about a half a teaspoon, maybe a little bit more of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. I already kind of know this recipe. And then we have a cup of olive oil and I am gonna slowly add that in. Let me get it started first. Actually, forget slowly, I'm just gonna put it all in. <laughs> this sauce is so good as a marinade. Uh, it's great for just dipping bread in. I brought this to some of my friends who are from Argentina, and they could not guess the flavors in this. I told them it was chimichurri, but they just couldn't guess it. Once I told them that it had mint in it, they said, that's not chimichurri. It had a little bit more olive I should have put the olive oil in here first. I would have blended better. Anyhow, they said that's not chimichurri as they finished off the entire bottle and then asked me to make more. There we go. I am going to test it for seasoning. It's perfect. That's so good. Now this sauce will keep in the refrigerator for about a week or in the freezer and you can put it in individual little containers uh, for about three months. And as I said, great marinade, great for lamb. Uh, Grant actually served it with some perfectly cooked Angus filet uh, served over a bed of arugula and this was like drizzled on top and then on the side with a little bit extra olive oil. Guys, I want you to see the color on this. It's absolutely amazing. It's a bite for you, a bite for me. Mmm. The mint, it's so good. I hope you guys tried this recipe. 
Thanks for watching my pretend cooking show. My name is Dina Mitchell. Please like and subscribe. Oh, by the way, this book over here, that's Grant McPherson. Check him out. <laughs> Bye, guys.